Hello, I am here to talk to you about setting up income streams in retirement. So hopefully you watched the other video about how to set up your savings bucket, your buckets of money, start mentally separating your money, giving it more purpose. Now we're, now you're retired. Congratulations, you retired. How does it feel? Is it exciting? Well, what I want to talk to you about is how, now that I am retired, how the heck do I set up income streams? Where does that money come from? What should I be thinking about while we do this? Okay. So I'm going to share with you the same worksheet that we talked about to set up savings buckets. Because we're going to view your income streams kind of the same way. So happy retirees have three to four income streams. You've heard me talk about that before. What does that mean? So if you look at it, the typical retiree has Social Security. They might have their spouse's Social Security. One of them may have a pension. And then usually it's your retirement money that makes up the rest of your income. So what does that exactly look like? Well, leading up to retirement, a big thing that I recommend people doing is to make sure they have one year's worth of their expenses in a bank account. Okay. We're going to dip into that a little bit to form an income stream from it, but we also want to make sure that we have money very safe and secure and isn't susceptible to market volatility. Because I know a big fear for a lot of people is that they retire and the next day the market melts down. Another financial crisis. And we don't want that to happen with your money at all, okay? So bank account money, bucket one, this should have one year's worth of your expenses. And that's why when we go through your expense worksheet, I don't have you to do that just so you feel guilty about where you're spending your money. I'm doing that so you really get clear on how much money do you need to live on based on your lifestyle today. And then we can see what expenses are gonna change which ones are going to be gone, which ones will be added, healthcare expenses will be added, traveling will be added, those sort of costs, okay? So one year money, know exactly how much money you need to live off for one year. Bucket two, this is kind of the next step when you think about investments out of the bank. So the bank is very secure, you're not earning much, but it's very secure and stable. The next bucket, bucket two, should have probably about three to four years of your expenses in there. Okay, so if you're living on six, we'll make it easy, fifty thousand dollars a year in this account, you should have one hundred fifty to one hundred thousand dollars, and it's not just sitting in it. I said reserve bank money. This is money that's maybe in bonds and short-term bonds, very conservative investments, not very risky. If you want to know more about what that is, we'll talk about that on our one-on-one -on -one session. I'll educate you on what type of investments we need to be looking at for this. But we have bank money is the first tier, most safe, secure. And then we're going to have short-term bonds. And then we're going to have bonds. And we, as we move up the ladder from safe to risky assets, the top will be stocks when I refer to things as risky or more aggressive, okay? Bucket three. So remember, we were saving into a bucket that was not retirement money. Well, hopefully you still have this bucket as you hit retirement, and that's good because, and we wanna make sure we have money that isn't all in a retirement plan. Why? Because all that money is gonna get taxed. It's really nice, really beneficial for you to have some money in retirement that's not gonna get taxed. It'll just help you be more tax conscious, more, um, more efficient when you pay your taxes, okay? So bucket three is money that's going to fund your retirement. We're going to set up basically a paycheck out of this account. And we want to, and it's not going to be all taxed. And there might be some earnings that get taxed, but it's really not going to be much tax. And it's very liquid, accessible money. And we might set up your income stream from it, or you might just have it there for those one-time larger purchases. I'm going to go to Italy for two weeks. I need $20,000. I'm buying a house, and my first house hasn't sold yet, so I'm going to use this for my down payment. 
or I'm redoing my kitchen, I need a few 40 grand. Okay, so that's money we eat, will either set up an income stream for it or just use it for those larger purchases. Fourth bucket, your retirement account money. This bucket is your retirement account, it's your IRA, your 401k, maybe a lump sum pension. And you, as long as you do a direct rollover with this money into an IRA, this money won't get taxed all at once. What will happen is as you take money out, you take 10,000 out one year, you get taxed on that 10,000. Unless it's a Roth IRA or Roth 401k, all that money is tax free. That's awesome. Good for you if you have that. Okay? But if it's a traditional IRA or 401k, this money will get taxed to you. And what we typically do is we set up a paycheck for you from this money and we can withhold for taxes so that you don't have a big tax burden, hopefully at the end of the year, if we do it right. And we typically, we consult with your accountant to make sure we have the right withholding. We can do 15, 20, 25% withholding for federal and state. So when you think about it between bucket three and bucket four, we really don't want you to take out more than, you know, four, five, maybe 6% of its value each year. And we're gonna talk about this again in two, two sections, but we're looking at the gross amount when you withdraw. So remember I said we can withhold the money in that bucket four, your 401k, your IRA. When we withhold the money, say you're taking out $4,000, but we withhold about $1,000 for taxes, right, 25%. And you get net $3,000 you forget about that extra thousand dollars that we're withholding money for. But we really need to take that into account when we're looking at that four to 5% withdrawal rate. So we look at your total assets. So if you had a million dollars, 4% would be $40,000. Now, if we took out the 25%, you would net out $30,000. Does that make sense? Okay, so again, go through this video write down your questions, come back to me, email, WhatsApp chat, or during our one-on-one -on -one session and we will definitely hash out any questions you have. But I hope that helps clear up where your income's gonna come from. It's gonna come from these different buckets that we set up and based on what your expenses are in retirement, based on what your one-time large expenses will be, will be, well, based on which bucket we go into, kind of what is our income plan. But first, we need to set up our buckets as we save money. Then we flip into retirement, and now maybe you don't need as much money because you're working part-time. So then we'll look at what is, which bucket do we go into that's going to save you most on taxes now, but especially in retirement. What's going to make most sense? Some people have 90% of their money in a retirement account, Okay, well then that's the bucket that we need to utilize and we need to think through how much we're gonna take out each year based on taxes. Some people have a balance of bucket three and bucket four and that really helps give us more flexibility on where we're going to take investments from and those sort of things. Another question which we're gonna go into next, next session about healthcare costs. So if you're not quite 65 yet, we wanna look at how much income you have coming in and how is that going to affect your health care and health care credits and that type of stuff on the Affordable Care Act and on the exchange, okay? So I hope this helps clear up some of that stuff. Again, write down your questions, come back to me, that's what I'm here for. I'm gonna give you information, I want you to reflect on it, write it down and then discuss that information with me, with club members, with your spouse, okay? Thanks for watching.